Hey there friends and thanks for joining me and I am super excited to share this with you because I have all this beautiful hydroponic lettuce I've been growing here this winter. And I know many of you when you hear the word hydroponic you're probably already cringing a little bit inside because you've maybe done research and found out that when you're doing research it can take tons of time to figure out how the whole thing works. It's extremely complicated with all these you know parts and special equipment and so it's expensive because of all these you know special stuff it takes it's difficult to put together once you do get it all figured out and you've spent all the money getting you know all the special equipment and everything plus it takes a huge amount of space so it's gonna take up like all the space in your basement to put this together so aside from it taking a whole week your whole paycheck and your whole basement you know some people think that hydroponics is out of reach well this is what I'm calling micro hydroponics meaning you can grow this stuff it's super simple it's very easy it's very inexpensive and it's extremely space efficient so seriously anyone can do it whether you live in a big house with tons of space or you live in a tiny little apartment with nothing more than maybe a south facing window that you could put them in anyone can do this it's super simple it only takes five things two of them many of us already have already and then the other things are really not very expensive and you know even the cost of them um, is negated because you can actually keep using many of the items over and over again so you make the one-time investment and the stuff continues to work not only this winter but next winter and so on so I'm really again excited to share this with you micro hydroponics so here we go basically what it is is it's a plant grown in a jar so a lot of people who are concerned about hydroponics because it's grown in plastic and um, you know you may be concerned about all the you know chemicals and things that are in the plastics maybe leaching into the water and then getting into the food like BPA and things like that this has none of that because it's actually grown inside of a glass jar there's only one plastic piece and it only touches it for a short time as you'll see in a few minutes so yeah, if this sounds interesting to you, you know, it's small enough that it can fit in a windowsill, you know, you could stick it anywhere pretty much. You can grow greens in the wintertime, this is the project you may want to consider. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So it takes five items in order to grow these. And so the first one is a quart wide mouth canning jar. Those of us that are homesteaders probably already have a bunch of these laying around. So we don't really need the lid, you take that off. The next thing you're going to need is rock wool. Now when I was doing this and putting this all together, I did a bunch of experimenting with different, you know, things to make this work correctly. And there are different types of hydroponic uh, growing medium. There's grow rocks, there's hydroton, these little like uh, clay pellets. Nothing else works like the rock wool. So definitely make sure you get this. This is a, a sheet of one inch rock wool cubes. I got this on Amazon. There was a sheet of 200. So yeah, you need some of this. And then of course you need some seeds. So um, just take whatever seeds you wanna grow. So what I've done here is I've taken this little plastic thing. It's actually a tray that a bunch of crackers came in. If you don't have something similar to this, you know, you could use a dinner plate or a Tupperware or anything like this because the nutrient solution is never gonna touch this, not until it goes into the jar, does it? So, you know, even if you use something that's a food item, it's gonna be safe to use for food afterward. So I went ahead and threw some of them in my little cracker tray here. And the Rockwell cubes, as you can see, comes with these little holes. So it makes it super easy to plant. So you just take your little, you know, lettuce seeds or whatever it is you're growing and then drop them in the little holes. And then you keep this watered, you know, probably only have to water it like once a week or so until everything sprouts. Once all of your seeds sprout from this little thing here, what you're going to want to do is break it up into sets of four. So a set of four of these one inch cubes. And then we're going to stick it in a three inch net pot. Again, I found this on Amazon. So I was able to buy all of three of the specialty hydroponic equipment from Amazon. And then I already had the jars and seeds, so it was really easy. So you take your plants that have already sprouted and you throw them in this little net pot. Stick that in there. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is take your jar and cover it with paper. The reason that they're covered in paper like this is to make it to where the jar is opaque so that the sun can't get to the liquid inside of it and cause algae to grow. So if you want to cover it in paper and then tape it on here like this, that's what I chose to do. You can also, you know, spray paint your jars. I didn't want to ruin my jars, so that's why I went ahead and covered them with paper so I could use them for another project another time. So make sure the jar is opaque. And then we're going to take one quarter teaspoon of special um, hydroponic 
lettuce blend um, fertilizer nutrient solution. So you take one quarter teaspoon of that, you throw it in the jar, and then I put a little water in the bottom of the jar. I swished it around to make sure it, you know, dissolved correctly. And then you take your net pot and you drop it in the jar. See how easy that is? Now the next thing you do is you fill it up, not all the way, just until it touches the bottom of the Rockwell cubes by about a half of an inch. So that's going to make it to where the Rockwell cubes are going to stay wet with the nutrient solution. And then um, the plants are going to continue to put out roots down into the water. And then as the plant is using the water, the water is going to get lower. So you may be tempted to top it off. Don't do that because plants actually have roots that need oxygen. So the way that this works is the plant roots that need oxygen will stay toward the top and then the plant roots that need the water and are sucking the water and the nutrient solution up as they grow are going to grow toward the bottom. So even if um, it may seem like uh, you want to keep topping it off, these will actually work better if you do less work. So there's actually no maintenance. Even somebody with a really busy schedule could keep maintain this because there hardly is any maintenance. You literally put it in there and watch them go crazy and grow all big. If they start to um, wilt, that's the only time you're going to want to water them. And that's because sometimes when it's dry outside, say there isn't very high humidity or whatnot, um, the water can actually evaporate before the roots have a chance to really get down in there. So if they wilt, go ahead and fill them up to where, you know, um, the roots uh, are touching the water again and then that's it. Hopefully by then they'll be uh, able to reach down into that nutrient solution and they'll be growing better. So yeah, the jar is covered with paper, the sprouted plants are in here, you stick them in a sunny window, that's it. Now you'll have your plants all um, big and happy and healthy to eat. Again, I tried lots of different experimenting. I tried different jars and different, you know, containers to hold them in and many of them took, you know, using tools to cut into the lids in order to get the net pots to fit in and it was just too complicated. That's why I came up with this system with the wide mouth jars, the three inch uh, net pots, and the one inch Rockwell cubes. They all work perfectly and then um, a lot of the nutrient solutions make nutrients by the gallon. The way I have it set up is that it's per jar. So whether you want to make one jar just to try it out or you want to try 20 jars <laughs> because you have a lot of space and you want to grow a lot, you can because you just measure out one quarter of a teaspoon of that nutrient solution per jar. So again, this works one jar or many jars, just like my pickle video. Okay, I did try different types of nutrient solutions to see how it would work. Um, so here is an example of a different one that I did. It's color coded. So the green one was the specialty hydroponic one. This red one was, um, I think it was a miracle grow. It was like a blue color. Um, it's a... Uh, this kind that is supposed to be mixed with water and then sprayed on your garden and so I thought okay well it's intended to become a liquid you know nutrient solution does it work well I would say it does work but it doesn't work as well like see this is the specialty hydroponic you know nutrient solution this one is the um, miracle grow one so these plants grew faster and they're a little bit healthier than this one is but it still does work so if you wanted to you know, um, went ahead and go with uh, a different nutrient solution. This one does work. You don't get the same exact um, dramatic results, but it can work. And so here's another one I tried. This one, I tried fish fertilizer because I wanted to try one um, that was organic to see if I could try one like that that would work. As you can see, this didn't work at all. The plants didn't die, but they're really not growing quickly and they're really not as happy as the other plants are. And the water's definitely a little bit on the foggy side. When you pull it out, you know, they have hardly any roots hanging down in there. They're definitely not ideal for hydroponic. Whereas these ones, as you can see, you know, you pull the, the net pot out and look at those roots. See, it works much better. So yeah, if you just follow the directions and make everything exactly as I have here, you know, and again, if you want suggestions for the materials to use, I have everything in the description box below. You could get the three items from Amazon or again from a, you know, um, specialty hydroponics store. And then you too can be growing micro hydroponics. Feel free to share this video with, you know, any friends or, friends or family you think might be interested in trying this out, you know, might find it interesting or might be kind of a fun project to do. Um, so thanks for joining me. I'm Frugal Green Girl and we'll see you next time.